On this unbelievably quick tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use VST plugins inside of OBS. I'm on OBS right now, as you can see, it's recording me recording this video, so recording section. This is super easy to do. The first thing I'm going to do is go to right here, as you can see this is my microphone, you can see it going up and down as I talk. I'm going to click these three dots right here. Then I'm gonna go to filters. As a quick side note for all my producers out there, I hate that OBS calls this section filters. I feel like it should be called audio effects or something else because filters is a bit misleading. So I'm gonna click this. As you can see, I have a list here of audio filters. I'm more gonna call them audio effects. I'm already running Ozone Imager 2 right here. All I'm gonna do is go down here. Then I'm gonna go down here to VS2.x plugin. Basically, this just means VST plugins. Click here. I'm gonna click okay. Doesn't really matter the name. And now I'm gonna click here. I now have all these different VST plugins I can use inside of OBS. Whether I want to use an instrument, which I don't know why you would, like Iowa Piano, but let's say if you wanna add something to the microphone. Like as you can see earlier, I was using the Ozone Imager 2 on my Blue Yeti. But if I want to, let's say, use a limiter like the Pro L2, if I wanna use a multiband compressor like the Pro MB, et cetera, et cetera. And let's say I do pick one, I'll just pick the Pro MB. When I click this now, I can click this and click open plugin interface. Now you can see in real time as I'm making this video, this is the kind of EQ spectrum of the Blue Yeti. It's that easy.